There have been trade rumors, it seems like every year for the past couple of years, involving Jerry Judy and the Denver Broncos. Didn't happen last year before the deadline is happening now. Judy to the Browns. Broncos get a fifth and sixth round pick in 2024. Judy in the last year of his five-year rookie contract. My, how time flies. I still remember when we interviewed him in Miami when he had left Alabama and he was on his way to the draft. 54 catches, 758 yards last year, two touchdowns. There, there's been a nagging concern that that he's not fulfilled his potential. He and Steve Smith got into it last year because right. Smith's attitude and opinion was he's just just the guy. Uh, so he goes to Cleveland now, pairs up with Amari Cooper, David Njoku, Elijah Moore, whoever they end up lining up at tailback, and and. You know, this is another weapon for Deshaun Watson. They yeah. want to boost Deshaun Watson. Yeah. They get a weapon to help the passing offense, assuming Watson's healthy. No, I, I, this is great for Cleveland. I mean, it just it gives them everything. You know, it, yeah, more stability, more versatility, more depth, right? Judy's not a superstar. Never thought he was, really. He was one of those guys back in the draft process, you remember, where he was like the bona fide number one guy, and it was just like, you know, what's what's real special about the guy to make number one? You know, he runs good routes, but I, I'm not going to go, oh, I'm taking him in the top ten because he runs good routes. But there's no weakness to his game, and he does do everything well. It didn't work out with the Denver Broncos, right? So I, I love this for Cleveland. To get a player like this for a sixth and, fifth and sixth round pick, I mean, this is a guy that's certainly capable of catching north of 70 receptions and fording with 1,000 yards for a number of years, right? Whether that's 90 receptions, 80 receptions, whatever. He's got good size. He does go on good routes. He can beat you down the field, right? I kind of look at this one with Denver and go, oh, what the hell were you doing? Why didn't you trade him at the deadline last year? That, that's what I kind of look at. Like, if you knew you didn't like him, Last year at the trade deadline, Mike, if I remember correctly, I mean, they were they wanted to trade him for a first, a second. I mean, those were the the things being thrown out there. But it got to the point of the year, again, like we were talking about with Justin Fields and some of these other guys where it's like, wait, Jerry, Judy, and his camp have told everybody now they don't want to be here anymore. Denver's told people they don't like Jerry, Judy. And now the value gets lessened. So great job by Cleveland. I mean, unbelievable. You got a starting, like, Pretty damn good number two wide receiver for a fifth and sixth round pick. Sold. Take it. Boom. See ya. Good job, Cleveland. When he was taken by the Broncos 15th overall in 2020 on the board were CeeDee Lamb, Brandon Ayuk, Uh Michael Pittman Jr., right, and Justin Jefferson. Oh, just that guy. (laughs) And Justin Jefferson. Yeah. Yeah. And Justin Jefferson. Yeah. Um, One last point, and then we got a break. Okay. This does put a little more pressure on Deshaun Watson. Of course. One less excuse. Of course. You know, Deshaun, this is it. You, yeah. No excuses this year. You got Amari Cooper. You got Elijah Moore. You got Jerry Judy. You got David Njoku. You've got the pass catchers. Now you got to go out and be the pass thrower that we are paying you $46 million fully guaranteed per year on a five-year deal to be. Yeah, period. that's right. And if their O-line's healthy, it's one of the best O-lines in football, too. Yeah, there, there's there's no wiggle room here for, for Deshaun Watson. He's going to have to play at a high level. Like we talked about last week with the supporting cast around him, their team in general, the defense, and then added on top of that, of that burden of the guaranteed contract. It, this is Deshaun Watson without question. And then the way it ended last year and how they looked with Joe Flacco at quarterback, Deshaun Watson without question is probably the quarterback under the most pressure in all of football this year. That's kind of how I look at it. I know there's probably another guy or two that are in that convo with them, but he's up there at the top of the list. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.